Hi, I'm Joe Marin, Senior Analyst, Digital Technologies for Printing Industries of America. And today we're going to talk a little bit about transparency. Transparency is a great effect that can be incorporated into any design, but it's important for designers to understand what happens to transparent objects before the job gets printed and how it can affect the design. Specifically, we're going to look at what transparency is and live versus flattened transparency. Let's take a look at transparency in an Adobe Illustrator document. Okay, so here we have a simple graphic, a square, a line, and a circle. And the easiest way to introduce transparency into a document is just to simply select an object, open up the transparency pane, and apply transparency to the object. And now you can see the line and the circle are showing through from beneath the transparent object, which is the square. It's also important for you to understand that transparency can be applied by applying drop shadows, feathering the edge of an object, or by applying blending modes. Next, let's look at live transparency versus transparency that has been flattened in a document. Okay, so the graphic that we have open contains live transparency. And that's because I can move the transparent object, which is the square, independent of the line and the circle. Now let's see what happens to this graphic when we flatten transparency. So I'm going to select all the objects. I'm going to go under Object and select Flatten Transparency. And I'm just going to flatten it using the default settings. Okay, now, when we go back to this graphic, you'll notice that we can actually move each slice independent of each other, and these slices are actually called atomic regions. So when transparent objects are flattened, they're sliced into what are called atomic regions. And you can see how when objects are flattened, it can make editing or changing a PDF file or an object that has been flattened more difficult. When do transparent objects become flattened? Transparent objects become flattened when you create a PDF file in Quark Express, when you create PostScript and create a PDF via Adobe Distiller, or when you save a PDF file that is Acrobat 4 compatible. However, Acrobat 5 compatible PDF files maintain live transparency when a PDF is created directly from Adobe InDesign or Adobe Illustrator. So one frequently asked question by designers is, should I keep transparency live in a PDF file when I send it to my printer, or should I flatten it? Let's take a look at some advantages and disadvantages of each. The advantages of keeping transparency live in a PDF file are the PDF file is actually more compact in file size, it's easier to edit the PDF file, and your printer can use the best flattening options for their workflow. The disadvantage of keeping transparency live in a PDF file is depending upon the complexity of the transparent objects in the PDF file, when those transparent objects are flattened, it may change your design. And you won't see this until your printer shows you a proof. The advantage of flattening transparency in a PDF file before sending it off to your printer is that it can show potential problems where those transparency objects were flattened prior to sending the PDF file off to your printer. The disadvantages of flattening a PDF file prior to sending it off to your print service provider is that the size of the PDF file can be much larger and it can make it more difficult or even impossible to edit the PDF file if necessary. Now you have a better understanding of the difference between live versus flattened transparency and how it impacts a document. Which should you supply to your printer? It's always best to ask first. I hope you found this discussion to be both informative and useful. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.